Hello everyone, in this video we will create an exercise on ERC20 token transfer methods and as you can see we have five methods here they are all special methods from ERC20 so we have a token contract as you can see and we have a pool contract let's first finish the part of token contract because token contract is we will only use it to mint some tokens and that's it it's not very important for this exercise so what's inside the token contract if you know some solidity if you have done some token projects you will understand how simple it is so let's compile this and then we will deploy it and let's make this 1 million token and here <coughs> you better use injected provider I am on the polygon Matic and let's deploy it our token contract is deployed and as you can see we have our token contract let's mint some tokens as you can see I have this mint owner function so if I go to that function and if I enter let's say 1000 tokens yes I have minted some tokens and if I forgot to say I am on the polygon Matic Mumbai testnet and we are finished with the token contract actually it's finished now we have 1000 tokens inside our MetaMask account now let's go to our pool contract in this exercise we will do a deposit and we will do a withdraw deposit means we will transfer tokens from our MetaMask account to this contract and withdraw means we will withdraw tokens from this contract to our MetaMask account okay so as you can see they are reverse so let's first start with the deposit so let's start with the first uh, function here first special function from ERC20 let's put this transfer function so if we use this transfer this is the function signature all these are function signatures and you can find all of them I don't know I mean this fucking stray dogs I don't know how to stop them but yeah okay I'm sorry guys really I don't know who are feeding these stray dogs outside whatever so here is the transfer method and this recipient and as we want to transfer tokens from this from our account to this contract recipient is address this isn't it because it's this contract so we just say address this and for the amount we will just say amount and here so if we if we do it like this you might be thinking that that's enough but as there is this error uh, red line here you, you you already know that this there's gonna be an error and the reason for that is we cannot call directly an ERC20 function from any contract so to do to you to, to to make use of this function we need to grab this token a paste it here put a comma and now it's fine so if you do it like this this will give an error because transfer method when you call it like this and as this transfer method doesn't have a third parameter it will assume that the sender the sender is the contract it's weird isn't it because the sender of the tokens for this for this uh, function you want it to be your MetaMask account you want to transfer from your MetaMask account but transfer function uh, as it doesn't have a third parameter it will assume that the sender is the token is the contract itself for that reason it will try to send tokens from contract to again the same contract so it will be from contract to contract from from this contract again to this contract and as you can see this is not useful we want to transfer tokens from our metamask account to this contract and for that reason we cannot use transfer if you if you think that if we can use underscore transfer instead of normal transfer we might succeed in making a transfer as it has a as it has a third parameter and as you can see there is sender recipient and in amount again this will not work first reason is that you cannot call again directly an ERC20 function from any place you cannot call it even if you put token A let me show you even if you put token A here underscore transfer is not the same as this transfer okay they are two different functions the transfer this function here this what you see here is a method defined in ERC20 and also inside in interface ERC20 okay but transfer underscore transfer is only defined in ERC20 so even if you like pass the parameters here for example recipient is address this 
sender is message.sender even if you do it like this it will not work and one more thing about this underscore transfer uh, I told you that it will not work because our con uh, our variable is is, is a top is a is pointing us to a contract which is created by following interface ERC20 and interface ERC20 does not contain this underscore transfer method but if you really want to use this underscore transfer in your project then you can do it in only one way you can convert your pool contract into a token contract what I mean by that is you will inherit from e ERC20 and then or right now it's given error but uh, it's given error not because this function here it's given error because we converted this pool contract into a token contract and we don't have a constructor but if you do it like this and if you put a constructor here just like this token contract let me show you it will work I mean not totally like this but something similar it will work and you will be able to call this transfer underscore transfer without the need of this token a even because the contract itself is inheriting from ERC20 so that was an extra information for you and right now we can move on to the third function and as you can imagine <coughs> third function will be the correct way to do a transfer from our MetaMask account to a contract so let's copy it and maybe I will just paste it here and sender is again message sender isn't it and the recipient is address this and amount is underscore amount so if we do it like that again it will not work because first thing is we need to put a put our token variable name in front of it and put a semicolon to the end of it but even if we do that it will still not work because transfer from method imagine that it would work imagine that this transfer from method just like this would work what would happen it would be catastrophic actually because everybody could be able to withdraw tokens from any other person's account because why not I mean like here I say that I want to transfer tokens from message sender but maybe my friend my maybe I have a friend who has an account with uh, with, with with lots of wrapped BNBs let's say it means that instead of saying message sender I would just put his account uh, address here and I would be able to withdraw all his tokens to this contract which is uh, which is not I mean which is nonsense actually I mean which is totally like catastrophic so to prevent this uh, ERC20 has provided a security check which is called approve so if you just copy this approve and paste it here you might be thinking that that would be enough isn't it let's let's put these parameters first and I will explain you why it will not work so you might be thinking that that's it no again this approve contract is a function defined in the interface ERC20 and for that reason we should first put this token A in front of it and put a comma but still it will not work although you see that the errors disappeared uh, it should work it will not work because approve function as you can see it has only two parameters transfer from has three parameters approve has two parameters transfer from is, is differentiating between sender and recipient and approve it it doesn't differentiate approve will take the function caller as the sender okay so in this case if you call this function you will see that it will give you an insufficient balance error because approve will assume that the function caller the sender of the tokens is not your metamask account it is this pool contract and you know what will happen it will authorize this contract to withdraw this amount of tokens again from this contract which is like nonsense you know because that's not what you want to do you want to authorize this contract to withdraw tokens from your metamask account for that reason what we can do instead of calling this approve on this contract we should call this approve on the token contract it might sound a little complicated but that's how it is you need to call this approve from your token contract and you might be if you don't know much solidity you might be thinking that where is the approve contract approve contract is right here my friend 
if you are creating your tokens by inheriting from ERC20 or ERC20 capped, you will have an automatic approve function already defined inside your contract. And we will use this approve function here to authorize this contract to withdraw tokens from MetaMask account. So that's enough for this. And now, but maybe one more thing I can say. Uh, what about this underscore approve? <coughs> Isn't it? Underscore approve is the same as underscore transfer. Underscore approve is not a function defined inside interface ERC20. It's a function, it's an internal function defined in ERC20. And as we are using interface ERC20, we cannot use the functions defined in ERC20. Okay, for that reason, we cannot use it. And that's it actually. So that's how you transfer tokens from your MetaMask account to this contract. Now let's go to withdraw. And for the withdraw, let's start with the transfer. So when you put transfer here, recipient, in this case, we want to withdraw from the contract. So who is recipient? Recipient is message sender. And amount is underscore amount, isn't it? And maybe, you know, I will just put this 10 to the power of 18 so that we will not be bothering ourselves by entering a 18 zeros. Yeah. So if you do it like that, it will give you an error, as you can see, because transfer is a special method from interface ERC20. And for that reason, we need to use this variable so that we can use, we can call this special method. So if you do it like this, do you think this will work? Actually, it will work. That's the correct way. That's the correct way to make a transfer from contract to an account. But let me tell you the wrong ways also. So if you put this transfer here, it will not work because transfer from cannot be used alone. You every time need to use approve. And in this case, approve cannot be used because approve will approve. And when you pass your uh, MetaMask account as spender here, approve will also take your MetaMask account as owner here. So owner and spender will be the same address and it will be a nonsense. Okay, I hope you understand this. And I guess that's it. But I need to correct this, isn't it? The contract is finished. Let's save this. And you know, I have <coughs> noted down all the errors that we have talked about here. This can be a nice reference point for you. And actually that's it. Now let's deploy this compile pool. Let's wait for the green tick. And now let's, where is it? Yeah, let's deploy it actually, there is no constructor. So yeah, as you can see, we have a green tick, our pool contract is deployed. And now let's first deposit some tokens from our MetaMask account to this contract. So to do that, we need to use transfer from, but as you remember, I have said to make a transfer from, we need to first approve. So to approve, let's go to token contract. And this approval can only be done on the token contract. It cannot be done on the pool contract, okay? Spender, who is spender here? Spender is the pool contract. Let's copy the address of pool, paste it here. And amount is, let's say 10 tokens, okay? But I cannot say 10 because this token has 18 decimals. So I need to put 18 zeros here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's 18 zeros, transact, enter 10 here without any decimals approve now we have approved uh, we can check the approval by checking these allowance but no need to spend time with it now and let's make the transfer so to make a transfer we need to we need this time go to our pool contract and before calling any function on the pool contract we need to do one thing we need to point this variable to our token contract and to do that, we need to grab our token contract address, which is this one, and go to set token, paste it, and call the set token, and approve MetaMask prompt. Now we can call this deposit, and as you remember, we have entered 10 tokens as our approval amount, so I again need to enter 10 here. I mean, it's up to you, but you can maximum transfer 10 tokens because your approval amount is 10. You can transfer less, but not more. So I will, but I will say 10. Okay, and I'm not putting 18 zeros here because I have put this calculation and conveniently I don't have to enter 18 zeros. 
so let's call this deposit okay we have a green tick here it means our deposit is successful to make sure everything works fine let's first check our balance let's go to token contract go to get your balance check it 990 fine and now let's grab these where is it yeah this pool contract let's copy it paste it here and it should give you uh, 10 with 18 zeros so one zero sh it should be one two zeros less than here yeah you see it's 10 and these are 18 zeros okay everything works fine now our contract has 10 tokens inside now let's withdraw them isn't it because that's the thing that we want to do so to withdraw is actually very easy you just need to open this withdraw where is it contract yeah it's withdraw function so inside the withdraw let's transfer back eight tokens okay and again i don't have to enter 18 decimals thanks to this calculation so let's withdraw it all right we have a green tick now let's go back to token contract let's check the balance this time it it was 10 tokens but now it should be 2 plus 18 zeros yes exactly and now this one should be 998 tokens exactly so that's how you do it and i hope this was useful and if you like it please subscribe and send a like to this video see you next time bye bye